I am going to felt this little piece of fabric here that I knit. The yarn is Patton's Classic Wool that I dyed myself. I cast on 34 stitches and knit for about 50 rows. This is about 7.5 inches wide by 5.5 inches I have here a pillowcase that I'm going to put this in while I run this through my washing machine. Make sure that you use a pillowcase that will collect any fuzz or residue or lint from whatever you're felting. A lot of people recommend using a mesh lingerie bag, but some of the lint can still get out that way and it will ruin your washing machine. So your best bet is to use the pillowcase that will catch most of the lint. And I am going to run this through a fairly short cycle. I have it set for hot water. You always want to use hot. There's a little bit of detergent in my washer and I have a small load of laundry in here that I'm going to wash this with just for a little bit of friction. You can maybe use one or two pairs of jeans. So I'm going to put this into my pillowcase here and throw it in the wash and I usually just let it run through the whole cycle. You can stop halfway through just to see how much you felted and if it is felted enough for your liking you can just uh, stop the cycle there and take your item out but I usually just let mine run through the entire cycle. I'm all tied up. I'm going to throw this in here and this cycle is going to run for about 40 minutes. So here we go. Okay, so here is my little felted piece of knitting. It didn't really felt or shrink as much as I was expecting it to. It has lost a, a bit of the stitch definition and it's kind of fuzzy. It feels different. The fabric's a little tighter. Okay, I ran this through a couple more times and this is what I have. You can see there's a very little stitch definition. This is a very firm fabric. There's not a lot of stretch to it. And it has shrunk a bit from what its original size was. So that is it.